Country and today I am actually working on two projects. I am fixing up this old uh, table saw that I have and I'm also while some of that work is drying and uh, I'm, I'm working on a old gas can here. Oh, of course the paint's all chipping away on it and so I wanted to go ahead and sand this down and refinish it. Um, found this at a garage sale. I've already done a lot, quite a bit of sanding on it now so it's out in the sun so you can see a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I estimate it's probably about from the 70s. So the sticker was uh, raising up in a little, a little area here. So I went ahead and trimmed the sticker off to where it's all uh, showing the stick on the side of the good paint behind it. Likewise with the other side. And so I'm going to finish sanding this up. Um, and I'll paint it with a red paint. The paint underneath here was as you can probably see here, it was a, a little bit of a deeper red. Um, I have some glossy red, dark red uh, on hand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand this all down and hit it with some primer and hit it with some red paint. Some of you out there that watch us frequently you might be asking, why in the world is he wasting his time painting up this old can? Well, sometimes we just do things because we want to. And I, Heidi really likes this old gas can, and and uh, we picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents. And I thought, well, you know what? Got a little time. In between uh, a couple of projects that I'm working on now, I'll go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and put a fresh coat of paint on it. Now, our channel is all about life skills, you know, and, and developing independent skills that you can use on your homestead. And, um, you know, taking care of your equipment and your machinery learning how to weld, learning how to cook, learning how to can, learning how to paint. Um, all those things are important um, <clears throat> so you don't have to hire it done. And the other thing is it's important to know how to do this stuff just to keep care of your material, your, keep care of your equipment. guys I'm here uh, the paint's dry on the gas can um, I went ahead and pulled the tape off of the lettering uh, remember these are the old stickers that were on here uh, on each side had stickers so uh, pulled the tape off of those and the top of the gas can 
or the the gas can inlet there um, was missing a gasket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I got I got a gasket set here. Um, I'm one of these guys that I uh, if I'm shopping around online or whatever like that, and I come across something like one of these kits here you're always you're always needing gaskets for something so I got this uh, gasket kit here haven't used anything out of it and I've had it for probably I don't know <laughs> maybe as much as a year and so I'll go in here and find a gasket that will fit this, this will, these are Buna N rubber um, gaskets that one's too big. That one's a little sloppy. Okay, that one there is just touching the, just touching the threads on that uh, spout, so that should fit nice and snug and tight. cool old vintage gas can like I say I think it's probably from the 70s and um, a little bit of rattle a little rattle can in some time and uh, you can make this thing pretty again so <laughs> so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, like subscribe and share if you're interested in our channel we appreciate it um, Thanks for tuning in.